Hey everybody, Mattisfaction here, and today I kind of just wanted to go over some of my uh, Olight stuff. And uh, I'm also a knife nerd. But today, instead of knives, well maybe we'll talk about knives, I don't know. But we're going to talk about a few various uh, Olights I have. And, uh, you know, I don't have all of them uh, with me. Some are in the car and, you know, elsewhere. But uh, I do have a couple of my trusty backups with me. Well, not even backups. These are ones that, like, if I go out in the woods, uh, this is what I'll take. And, you know, I'll start with the one on my keychain. Here's my keychain. My buddy made this. But if you notice, you know, I've got my little multi-tool there and some keys. This I've had for years. But right here is the first Olight. This is the IR2. And what I like about this one is it's small. And, you know, you just twist it. Boom. Light comes on. It's not very bright. You don't need it too bright. This is like, hey, you know, I dropped my keys. Let me take a peek under the car or something. But what I like about it is, uh, you know, it, it doesn't run on battery. If you twist it the other way, boom, little little USB-C charger. All you have to do is just, you know, pop this, you know, onto a charger every now and again. And I like that it's USB-C because, you know, I carry, a, you know, my phone. So I almost always have a USB-C near me. Yeah, that's my first one. This one's perfect. Next, though, is the one that, uh, this is, this is my go-to. This is my camp knife. <laughs> knife. <laughs> this is my camp light, the MR2 Pro Warrior. I don't think they make this one anymore, but, woo. If you give it a tap, the brightness goes down. And you know, if it's on, you can go through the various settings. There's a nice moonlight one. This is also like, hey, I don't need too much light. Just a little bit. Hold the button down, goes up a notch. Hold it down again, goes up. And then boom. Uh, I forgot how many lumens it is, but I think it's uh, according to this box over here, 1800. But, you know, I like this one. And it's got the uh, cool clip, so you can slip it into your pocket shh, this way. Or you can clip it, you know, to a really strong hat, maybe. Or, I don't know. I just like that the clip is multi, multi-use, multi-directional. Pop a lanyard, and you know, to charge it, they give you this cool thing. Plug this into some USB port, and, uh... Boop. Very magnetic. I like that. That's that's pretty cool. You don't need to plug anything in. Just slap that on. You're good to go. And as you can tell, I haven't really used the charge mine in a while because, oops, it's orange. Uh, so it's, you know, it's winding down. going to have to give it a charge and uh, let's see what that Let's see what that, uh, you know, looks like. Let's see if we can get it on camera here. Let me plug this in. Yeah. Light turns green. We've got power. Turn this off. Boom. Look, red. Charging. It'll pulse. See, it's more bright now. It's pretty cool. And then once it's done, it'll turn green. No indication on the light whatsoever. Well, the light's off, but that little guy right there, that tells you everything you need to know. You know, and I'll go ahead and uh, just let that sit right there. Next up is this little guy. I use this one quite frequently. This is the i3T EOS. 
I like this little guy. Also, not a very bright one. I think it's just got the two settings. A little moonlight and then a little oomph. Whoops. But again, the pocket clip has the two way drop it that way. Or this one, you can definitely clip it to your hat. And, uh, you know, you're good to go there. But do I have a hat? Just to show you what I mean now, say this is your head. Go ahead and pop that right there. Boom! Got yourself a little headlamp. Isn't that cool? Cat! But, you know, I think that's pretty cool. There we go. Had to tell my cat to hush. I like this one because it's nice and light. This will fit in a shirt pocket. Uh, I usually carry this one, you know, in like a pouch, this kind of deal. If I can, you know, figure out how a pouch works. There we go. I carry that in a pouch. Travels perfect. You can even put it inside. There we go. Oh, there's something already in that one. There we go. That's better. See, you know, it'll ride nice in there. I like this little guy. Now, one thing I would like to learn is uh, I was sent this one by a friend. This is the i3T EOS. This is the i3E EOS. I think this one's just smaller and more keychainy. Maybe a little bit bigger than this one. But you know what? Let's open this one. And find out. And you can kind of see how they package their stuff too. Read me. There's a little, they put a little plastic disc in there. So this one runs on batteries. There's that little plastic disc. Let's see if this one comes charged. Show sure enough, look at that. So this is another good keychain option. Here it is in relative size to this one. So this one's going to run on battery. You could probably buy a rechargeable battery, but this one you can charge. This one, just switch a battery in. You're good to go. All right, next is this guy. Uh, I use this one all the time because... One, I live in Arizona, and two, I have a lot of things that glow in the dark. Like that skull, you can see. So, this is the UV Olight, the i5 UV EOS, whoops, and, you know, I have a lot of cool resin things that glow, and coins, and this and that and that and this. It's cool to have this to charge it. It works very well. And I mentioned Arizona. I use this sometimes to find uh, scorpions. Scorpions glow in the dark with uh, ultraviolet. You can see the fuzz. So this one I try to keep handy all the time. This one runs on batteries. By the way, to change a battery, all you do is just unscrew the cap. Slip one in there. I think this is the battery that came with it. And I've used this thing a ton. Which to me shows that it's uh, very good at conserving battery power. I think I've had it over a year and I haven't changed the battery yet. But that's just a fun one. Let me start lining these up. And now, this one's still charging. This one I got from a friend, and uh, I'm, I'll am i be honest, I'm too afraid to, you know, use it. Look at this thing. This is this one, but, I mean, it's beautiful. And I left it so you can kind of see, you know, how they package it. This is, you know, very nice packaging. This is where they put the charger. 
and uh, you get a little lanyard. That one came with a lanyard, but I don't use it. But, you know, I, I like it. I don't even think I took the plastic out of this one. I just like to look at it. I pull it out, go, man, that's cool. This is a, uh, this is really a beautiful flashlight. Yeah, I don't, I didn't even take the plastic out. But, uh, you know, maybe I will. Let's go for it. This one I just, uh, I like to keep nice. Alright, here we go. Yeah, there's that big old recharger battery, or rechargeable battery. That's a big boy. Alright, here we go. This will be the first time you and I see this on. If it has juice, you know, it might not. That's tight, but it doesn't line up, so I gotta, I gotta, there we go. Okay, here we go. Ah, okay. So we'll cycle through. Boom, boom. You know, it's just as bright. 1,800 lumens. It says it's got a throw of 300 meters. As you can see down, oh yeah, when I shot on the wall, it's uh, good. This has a nice tight circle. You can see it. And uh, <clears throat> it's very bright. These do have a lockout feature too. How do you... I forgot, it's been a while. One, two, three, four, five? Is that it? Oh, there's the, that's the brightest setting. Whew. Well, it does have a lockout feature. I just forgot what it is all of a sudden. I suppose I could look it up. Maybe it's written down right here. It's not, but it does. It does. I forgot how many clicks it is. Well, maybe just the back that does the, uh... Oh, I found the strobe. There we go. I, I never use the strobe because, uh, it makes me feel funny. There we go. I mean, it's, this is a, this is a bright light. I use the moonlight one a lot, especially when you're camping. Or I use my telescope sometimes, so I just uh you know, I just uh, go for that. I really like it. And I'm gonna put it away safely. Keep it nice, keep it noish. The case for these are pretty nice too. You can uh put it on a little thing, a little carabiner. It snaps real nice, and it even has a piece that goes around. Keep the uh, snaps there. You can put it through your belt here or through here. It's really nice. And then, you know, I got a few other things from Olight, like uh, the O-Pen. Uh, I geocache, and this thing... Is perfect for your geocaching. It writes really nice too. There we go. Took a second to write on my skin, but it does write really nice on this on on anything, and it's perfect size for geocache. Just put this, uh, you know, next to one of these little guys. Pair it up. But uh, you know, this video is getting long, so uh, you know, this is just some of my O knife collection. Er <laughs> I keep, you know, I might as well just show one at this point. Let's see. All right, here we go. Look at this bad boy. This is one of my favorite knives. It's by Olight, but it's their O knife brand, and uh, I, I, I just love that. I'm a guy who likes 
big old knives. And the gower fits that uh, roll very nice. If you want to cut. Anyway, so here we are. I'm going to let that charge. Might as well. I took it camping with me just last weekend. And uh, I use these all the time. Well, this one I just opened. I can't say I use that one. But I use these all the time. Not this one either. In fact, I need to, I need to put precious away. Here we go. Here we go. Good night. Night, night. Put that back. Keep this nice and nice and safe. I like this. Does this have the uh, lockout features? It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Crenellated strike bezel. I forgot these ones can also be self-defense. Uh, you just grab this and <laughs> just twist like a cookie cutter shark. Very grippy handle too. The pocket clip you can you can slide it all the way around, put it in any direction you want. I'm not going to because it'll scratch it. Or you can just pop it off and not even have the uh, clip on there. I like that they give you options. And you can even put the clip up here if you want. So flip it around. It's up to you. You know, the world is your oyster. But uh, that's all I got for you. I'm, I'm getting into flashlight, so I'm building it up. It's going to take some time. But, uh, you know, I'm getting more. I have various other flashlights, but they're not Olight. But I like these. This guy I use all the time. This pen I use all the time. I got other ones too. And these are cheap. It was like 15 bucks for a two pack. And they write really nice. This one's awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some use out of this. But this right here is my go-to. But uh that's all I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh you know maybe see an O light you like. And uh, you know, if you don't have a flashlight. Go get one. You have one on your phone, sure, but it's not that great. These show dedicated beams. They, they last longer, and they won't drain your phone battery in times of emergencies. And a lot of these you can just put on a moonlight mode. Use very little power. It get you through what you need to get through. But like I said, that's all I got for you. And, uh, you know, I'll catch you next time.